Uh, certainly, any new administrator uh, is going to have an impact, but I think it's really great to see him in the halls. He's always saying hi, saying hello to kids, and um, I think he's very supportive of both students and teachers. Mr. Hanna gave us some insight on how working from his old school is different from his new one. Many people had opinions on how Mr. Hanna has affected their attitude in school. Um, so far it's been great. Like I said, he's very supportive of um, the student body. I think not just from a discipline situation, but just as uh, a member of the school community and as a teacher, um, very friendly, outgoing, and like I said, very supportive. Before teaching, Mr. Hanna told us his inspiration. <music> Students and faculty describe Mr. Hanna in one word. Gorgeous. Caring. Thanks, Gabby. Winter sports are quickly approaching. Throughout the school, we have students who participate in winter season sports, such as basketball, hockey, track, and cheer. We got athletes' views on why they do winter sports. Um, I enjoy winter sports because I get to get together with all like my friends that play basketball with me, and we have a really good time during the season. I enjoy it because I like to spend time with my friends, and it gives me like something to do during the winter. It's a good time of season for all the kids. Basketball is my favorite sport, so it's a, a pleasure to come in and work with the kids as much as I do. And the weather, of course, it's nice to be inside. I see the track kids have to work outside a lot, but uh, that's my, my main reason is my love for basketball, really. Um, I enjoy winter sports because I have a good bomb on my team, and it's really competitive. So many students in WB have been looking forward to the upcoming season. Um, I've been looking forward to basketball because it's my senior year, so we have senior night this year, and I just miss all the, all the girls that play. Participants in winter sports feel that we could have better school spirit. You know, we could probably make school spirit more of an aspect during winter sports by maybe having like a pep rally or something, or kind of like what we did at the last pep rally, like with specific teams going in together and like doing like you know, like challenges and stuff. A lot of the athletes believe winter sports are important to participate in. Well, I believe that they should uh, participate in whatever sport is that time of year, meaning I know some kids love soccer, but when soccer's over, it's time to move into basketball. Some kids want to go year-round with certain sports, and I, I think at this level they should be playing uh, whatever the sport of the season is. I feel like winter sports are important to participate in because um, not a lot of kids like do things during the winter because it gets cold and you can't really go outside. So I feel like this is a great way for kids to you know stay engaged. Um, it's important to participate in because like if you don't have like multiple friends or anything, you don't got to be ashamed or anything. You know, sometimes during any sport, not just winter sports, you can make good connections with people you didn't think you would have and stuff like that. And it's something to do. Be sure to catch some games and cheer on our WB Winter Athletics. Another extracurricular approaching is Key Club. Ski Club has been a school tradition for many years, so I wanted to find out when and the reason why it was created in the first place. Ski Club started in, I believe, 2009. Quick math, that tells me we're somewhere around year 13 or 14. So we've been going for a long time now. 
Since Ski Club has been going on for many years, I wanted to see how the staff has felt about the behavior of students or if they feel there have been any issues with students in the past. Every single trip, uh, there's something that happens, but most kids won't know about it. You know what I mean? Could be just a minor injury, a major injury. Ski Club has many returning members, and I was curious to see how long they have been a part of the club. Just one year. It's my second year. I started last year, and this is going to be my second year. I was curious to find out if people in the club ski or snowboard outside of school, and I wanted to, see, to know where they would go for it. Uh, if I'm with my brother, yeah. I usually go to Wildcat Mountain. Um, this year I'm actually going on a trip with my family and my friend. We're going to Sugarbush, Vermont. I wanted to see how people's ski club experience has been so far and if they feel that any changes have to be made. It's good. I love hanging out with my friends and just enjoying the views on the mountain. Definitely, yeah. For people who are new to ski club, I wanted to see if they felt nervous about ski club and the risks that may come with it. With how many crickets were in the school, lots can agree there were certain hot spots where they hung out. These students and teachers knew and gave these examples. Actually, this hallway specifically, the TV one, because they're always coming in through the back door over there. Uh, I usually encounter the most crickets in, towards the downstairs classrooms. I feel like I don't really run into as many in the upstairs classrooms, but I do hear them a lot in the cafeteria. When coming across the crickets, let's see how our interviewees react and what they do with them. So I see if I can find the cricket, and then uh, if I do find him, I try to get him outside, you know, so he doesn't get, like, trampled by, by clumsy feet. Me, when I usually just see it, I'll probably step on it, but I, I haven't stepped on any. Usually the teachers like to be nice and, you know, just slowly open the door and let them back into the mother nature. There could be many ways these insects get inside. Our interviewees giving some thoughts and ideas on how. Um, I assume that they go through like the cracks of the doors, but I really don't know. It could be through vents or something, so. Uh, they're surprisingly agile, so they'll squeeze through like little cracks. Um, I know for, in my room, it's, it's just the, the bottom of the door. They come right in through the cracks and they can sneak right in, um, obviously trying to get out of the cold, so. There can be, and are, quite a few reasons to why people don't like crickets or bugs in general. Let's hear a handful of students and teachers' two cents on it. Probably that they're creepy looking. Uh, you know, not everybody loves bugs, and uh, so crickets, I guess, are, are no exception to that. Um, some of them get pretty big, too, so I guess people don't like that. It's kind of like one of those things where you're in a quiet house and you have one cricket and it can just like annoy you. Um, so after a while, the, the repetition <laughs> of the cricket noises just does become a, it can become a bit of, of a distraction um, in class. So. Thanks, Josh. Every year, people seem to start celebrating Christmas mere moments after Halloween ends. But why are so many people eager to celebrate? That is the question my partners and I intend to answer. Before December, places already have their Christmas decorations up. Many people have different theories as to why this is. Because Thanksgiving doesn't really have many things that commercials can sell you. Everyone seems to celebrate Christmas at different times. The time when people start to celebrate varies from person to person. We at least need to see that calendar flip to December 
or at least get through Thanksgiving. Companies are notable for decorating early for the holidays. This trend is widely disapproved by the people. I think it's ridiculous. It's November. You don't need it up yet. Uh, so I was walking through a Macy's and they were decked out Christmas time. And uh, I wasn't feeling that. I just, I'm not, it's too early. Not in the mood. I think it's a little too soon. I wish it would wait until, you know, the Halloween candy is cleared out a little bit first before it comes out. One of the most notable times of the year is the time where almost every station plays the same Christmas songs over and over. This tradition has caused a variety of opinions. I do like the Christmas music, however, I don't like to hear it the day after Halloween. I prefer it much better after Thanksgiving has passed. I it's terrible. While all these festive preparations are going on, it seems like people are neglecting Thanksgiving. It feels as though no one cares anymore about the ancient holiday and no longer see it as an important one. But not everyone shares the sentiment. I love Thanksgiving. I think there's a simplicity about Thanksgiving where there's no expectations of gifts, um, just good food and family and some time to chill out. So I think it still deserves um, its own little recognition before we get to Christmas. A Christmas tree is one of the most iconic signs of the holiday. Some choose to get the tree early, while others get it later. We officially start decorating the day after Thanksgiving. It has been up all year long. <laughs> Even though it seems as though so many people celebrate Christmas early, it seems as though just as many people are willing to wait. In the end, people celebrate Christmas early because it gives them a feeling of happiness and comfort. Now on to Anna to learn about all the other holiday traditions going on this year. Multiple students wanted to share what they do during the holidays. Teachers also gave input on Christmas celebrations in other countries. Students and teachers have interests and traditions that they do during holiday time. Students share multiple ways they personally decorate, while language teachers tell the differences in Christmas styles. Thanks, Anna. Every year, the students and staff at WB excitedly await the Christmas season. Spending time with friends and family is one of the best times of the year. Let's hear what people have to say about this upcoming Christmas season. Many people lift their holiday spirits by watching some of their favorite Christmas movies. Aside from Christmas movies, many people celebrate the season by finding joy in other activities.
Others have ideas on what they would like to see under their tree this year. Every year, over 2 billion people are on the naughty list. Here's what list members of WB think they're on. Christmas is one of the most fun and exciting times of the year. Whether it be watching movies, baking cookies, or spending time with friends and family, everyone is excited for this year's Christmas to roll around. While spending time with friends and family, many people like to help others. Let's go to Kate to hear on ways to give back. Thanks, Lucy. A big part of the holiday season is giving back to the community. Students and teachers at West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School are given different opportunities both inside and out of the school to help those in need. Giving back during the holiday season is crucial to those who are less fortunate. During the holidays, students all give back in different ways. The school provides different options and opportunities to donate to those in need. This is a big part of the holiday season in West Bridgewater. With the holidays upon us, please consider donating to the food pantry, cooking meals, or picking a name off the giving tree. These are all great ways to give back to the community. That concludes another Wildcat News episode brought to you by HBlock. Happy holidays.